What's good, YouTube? It's your boy B Grace moving on back with another video. It's been a long, long time since I've done a reaction video like this, but y'all saw the title in that thumbnail, man. So, in today's video, bro, so the problem with black YouTube, I saw like half of this video already, so like I know what he's talking about, but like, yeah, man the um yeah man like the problem with black youtube is fucking insane i just see all these dudes and girls be in videos with these guys it's so called entertaining to y'all because y'all the audience but like i feel like it's not entertaining to me like it's not really like you know entertaining because it's the same content y'all make because like it's black youtube because like y'all do the same shit bro like i saw dudes um you know make the same content from a different channel i'm like what the heck it's like did he make the same thing that he just did like type shit you know what i'm saying like it is crazy as hell on youtube bro it is crazy bro and this is why i do not make the same content man because y'all love my 2k content bro you know what i'm saying because y'all love them videos man and i really do appreciate y'all support man and like i don't take none of this shit for granted man because like you know without y'all man like i would not be here you know because i don't make the same concept but just get more views you know what i'm saying because like i get my own views i get my own traction i get my own content you know like i get my own ideas not the same as y'all niggas i don't get the same like ideas y'all like i i don't get the same ideas as y'all do because Y'all do the same content, but y'all call this shit entertaining. Look at this title, bro. I rubbed my brick on my friend to see how she reacts. What? She touched it. Bro. Like, bro, ain't that weird to y'all? Because y'all don't care about entertaining us. You know what I'm saying? Y'all care about the money inside of me, bro. And that really, like, upsets me the most because I thought y'all love doing YouTube, my nigga. Like, I thought y'all like doing this, bro, but y'all want to um you know i'll do this shit for the money and expect to get something from it like no bro, you're not gonna make it but anyway y'all i cannot forget i go like share and subscribe if you're new to the channel only and please turn on those post notifications if you guys want to see more of me when i drop soon i know without talking shit bro let's get right to the video black youtube sucks he posted black youtube youtube sucks one side kitchen is a legend Bro, Corey is a legend, bro. Like, nigga, like, I fuck with this dude, bro. And Berlin, and EMP sometimes, I ain't gonna lie. They use their own mind, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's why they're here now. You know, because they use their own mindset, man. You know, to create their own content, bro. On their own, right? You know, as a group or just like an individual like me. Because, hey, man, that, hey, man, like, those, like, set of people, bro, are the best YouTubers, man. Especially Corey, man. Because, hey, man, shout out to Corey, for real. One side is like that homemade burger that takes hours to make, and the other side is like that two dollar McDonald's burger that tastes good for about five minutes. But the oh, shit, my fault, y'all. The next day, you feel like absolutely it's kind of like yin and yang, you know. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about that other side of flat, the terrible side. Now, when it comes to the black community and content creation, I feel like every single idea can't just be a normal idea, right? It always has to be some sort of right like that's what i'm trying to say like y'all make the same idea it's like y'all copy the next man of what they're gonna do and y'all be like oh wow you know you know we should make that too like no it's not no 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 no. it don't work like that it do not work like that like create your own ideas you know your own content and stick with it bro you know what i'm saying because you gotta like stand on your own bro not with all these other niggas that's trying to do the same thing like no bro stand on your own bro and they're gonna call you weird if you don't do it like them that's the thing about it like i hate but we're dumb right we're dumb it's fucking stupid bro exactly exactly bro it has to be a freaky blind date to get views like y'all just sick bro y'all just sick bro we are getting hold on let me live hold on let me go back let me go back let me go back let me go back what type of title is this bro like 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 i'm not trying to be funny i'm not like like i swear to god i'm not trying to be funny i put my freaky ass parents on a blind date bro never again so why would you do it bro every time i never again y'all think this shit funny but it's not funny like my nigga bro 
Bro, I know your dad is a 55 overall with no game. <clears throat> my nigga. Bro, this is sick, man. Like, I don't know. I mean, like, I'm lost to words. Like, something, like, I, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm lost to words. We are getting to the point. Virgin. That's actually weird. Weird as hell. Like, weird as fuck. I can't tell you how many black content creators I've seen milking the absolute life out of 20 ones. Now, if you don't know what a 20 one is, well, it's basically like a speed dating show for 20. And I can't lie, y'all. Like, I see these on my recommendation page. I'm like, bro, I, I mean, I see a uh, body right here. I see, um, you know, uh, Kai Sinet, I see like everybody on the side, man. I'm like, what, bro? Like, they they pushing this shit out, man. They 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 promoting this shit. I'm saying they they promoting this content, bro. Like they they promoting this, man. I'm saying. And by the end of the show, that one person picks their favorite out of the 20 people. I'm pretty sure this video idea was created by Jubilee, popularized by the Sidemen, and then the black community just took it by storm. Right, they took over. There are some genuinely funny 20 ones out there, but then you got channels out here who are posting 20 ones every season. For example, No Love Mar. Now, if you don't know who No Love Mar is, well, he's a pretty big black YouTuber who has 1.44 million subscribers. And when you take a look at this man's channel, basically all of his videos are 20 ones. Hold on, let me go back. Y'all see how many videos, right? They make... Hold on. Hold on, let me go back. Dang, bro. Like, dang, man. Like, how you go back? I'm trying to go back. So, you see how many videos Brody made, bro? He made a video with Lil Meech, uh, Quavo, V's, uh, T.I. Sun King, uh, who else? Uh, Miami the Kid, a Smooth Geo, um, uh, you know, a Desay Frost, like, bro, all, like, y'all do the same thing, and y'all bring other people to the videos to get some views. Like, let that sink in y'all head, bro. They bring you all these big, big celebrities, right, in their videos just to get some views, man. You know, I see, like, like bro, like, like, I see the views, bro. Like, you, you know, a million views. Like, you know, like 500K, you know, uh, 800K. Like, this got to stop, bro. Y'all putting their face in the video for some views, bro. Like, this is not good, bro. Like, it's like y'all do the same thing, bro. I wouldn't be surprised if this man changed his name to Cupid the way he's helping out everyone try and love. I wouldn't be surprised Terrible. if he did a 20v1 with the whole entire United States. For Terrible. Honestly, at this point, this man... I'm just being real. ...20v1 to help me find some action. Like, come on. And what's crazy is that this man is so obsessed with 20 v one they literally jumped another YouTuber because they made a 20v1 with Krishan Rock and he wanted to do that idea first. I mean, there's literally entire videos of him and his crew just pulling up to their studio, them beating up the other guys, and them taking the camera and the footage so that they get uploaded to YouTube. Number one, what happened to Shane Fuji? Okay, man. What was the point of you doing that, bro? Because you do the same content too. I'm saying, cause you're trying to take another man camera by doing the same content as you. I mean, I mean, like everybody do the same content, dude. So what's the point of doing that, dude? Like, be real with yourself, dog. So what was the point of you doing that? Fucking stupid, man. Like, I, like, bro. And I hate her, dude. Like, like, bro. And I hate her to the max. Like, bro. Like, what a passion. I hate this motherfucker, bro. I can't say too much, man. Like, you know, I don't, I don't want to get this video to get straight, man. I don't want to, I don't want to say no wrong. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, jumping other YouTubers because they're about. And this is stupid, my nigga. Just be more creative and make something other than 20 v one, and maybe you wouldn't have to result to jumping people because they make the same style of content as you. Imagine if Voice Critical got to a topic before me, and I fought him because of that. Isn't that the stupidest thing ever? Like it just doesn't make sense at all. And what's even worse is that before every 20 v one that this man does, he promotes this scam where apparently you're supposed to get 750 dollars. Oh whoa! The link in and that part, y'all post this for money, bro. It don't work. I'm saying y'all post a link in y'all bio, bro, to get like $750 from Cash App and it do not work. I tried it before it and it, it, 
it don't work. Like, you know what I'm saying, like, I got nothing else to say. It's like, bro, I got, I don't know. Like, y'all just, bro, y'all, y'all greedy, man. You know what I'm saying, y'all, y'all some silver spoon, you know, greedy and spoiled people, bro, on this YouTube shit. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, this is sad, bro. Well, this is bad, dude. Well, this is terrible. I'm disappointed, bro. Because this shit don't work right here. You know what I'm saying? This little reward shit, it don't work. But you don't. It just takes you to one of those sites where they have you fill out all those tedious surveys and you get nothing from them. I mean, there's literally entire videos on YouTube exposing these scams. He gets the money because he gets paid for people pushing the thing. But you as... Exactly what I just said, bro. You get nothing because, I mean, why would Cash App just give you $750 they you throw when they just decided to do that? It just shows how greedy of a YouTuber this man is. But I'm pretty sure that was already pretty evident. You also have this other YouTuber right here named Real X Sean, and basically a bunch of his videos are just 20v1 and nothing really else. Let me go back again. Another YouTuber. Hold on. Hold on. The same fuck content, bro. Bro, do y'all get enough of this, bro? It's like, do y'all get enough of this? Like, y'all do realize y'all copying another man. You're bringing in other YouTubers and celebrities in your videos for some views. Like, like I just explained, in person, a smash surpasses. And these, and these, um, you know, in-person Tinder dates and all that, like, uh, I'm like, what? Like, it's the same concept y'all do. Like, it's just from another man. Like, like, I don't know, man. Like, I'm lost to words. But this fan also, he spams that link in the description with that seven fifty dollar cash app that you never. That part. Then you got another 21 YouTuber right here named Ryan with the sauce. And he also spams that link in the description for that $50 cash. You know, what's also crazy about these 20 is that there's literally no originality in any of them. The only difference is the people in the 20 B. None of like none. You know what I'm saying? And, and some of these dudes are scared to be they self. They scared to be they self. That's the problem with y'all kids. Y'all scared to be yourself. I've been there, done that, bro. And now I'm being myself. The intros are all the same. That's Everything right. The same. the same thing. Personalities of all the Everything is the same. same. Even the freaking scam in the video. They're all doing the same $750 cash app scam. Even the scam in the video is the exact same. These dudes are literally made in a freaking laboratory, bro. Like, they're just printed every single person. <laughs> <laughs> What's also crazy is that these dudes will have young people in their 21s, which is very sad. You guys that don't know, there's this rapper named La Tyler, and he's 17 years old. Bro, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with him, bro. He made a video with Tyler. Bro, like, bro, y'all new robbers, bro. I don't fuck with y'all, dude. You know what I'm saying, Lil Tyler, I, bro, I don't fuck with you, bro. I'm saying you the same nigga, just like everybody else, bro. It's sad, bro. The nigga 17, like. You know, he my brother aids, bro. I'm so done with this. Like, I, I'm I'm done. I'm done with y'all, dog. He's a child. He's a kid. He's a kid. If I was him, I, I would have had that off the bat. And I wouldn't lie about my age. Like, I wouldn't lie. I'm just playing. I'm not. Hell no. Nah. Like, I ain't trying to be in these fucking videos like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's like they're going to use me for some views, bro. I mean, the man's not even college material. He's not even past high school. He's a child. That's just odd. And you can't say 17 is close to 18, but at the end of the day, if you sleep with a 17 year old, that is illegal. But what's even crazier is that there's 20 v one with Lil RT, and for y'all that don't know, Lil RT is a nine year old rapper, but he's not like the. Oh shit! My fault, y'all. Hold on. Dang, bro, I can't pause the video. Y'all see this little nigga right here, bro? Right? Hold on. Let me let me go back. 
We're gonna go back some. Damn, bro. Where the fuck did I go? Lil RT. This nigga eight years old, my nigga. I saw a video with Lil RT, right? He holding a gun for, for, for like a Glock or some shit in, in the music video. And this nigga only eight years old. He eight years old, my nigga. These are the people that influenced him to do this shit, bro. And King said, bro, I, I, I don't fuck with you at all. Like, I don't even fuck with you at all, dude. Because you use everybody in your videos, man, just to get some views, bro. Like, I don't fuck with you at all, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I, like, nigga, like I, like, I saw I saw the truth, you know, behind you. Like, I saw, like, like, like everything was true about you, bro. I don't fuck with you, bro. Because y'all put a nigga face inside a video for some views, bro. Like, that is sad, bro. Cause you feel like your content not good enough, so you gotta pull somebody that has, you know, you know, a more than you to put inside your shit. So, bro, it's like I'm just being real with y'all. Like, like I got nothing to lie about. You know, I mean, I mean, like y'all, y'all know me, man. I, like, I keep it so, so real with y'all. I do not lie to anybody about this shit right here, cause I don't lie. Lil RT is a nine-year-old rapper. Oh, never mind. Eight. Never mind. Nine years old. My fault, y'all. This nigga nine years old. My nigga. my nigga, when I was nine years old, bro, like, we used to be outside, bro, fighting niggas on the block. I remember one time, you know, my bike got stolen. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I got to get it back. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for example, like, you know what I'm saying? These kids know nothing about um, you know, being outside, like they don't know, bro. They don't know. It's I sad, mean, as bro. You can see right here, literally at the video, <laughs> like, what? I found love from the help of Lil RT. Why do you need a nine year old to help you find love? You also have a YouTuber King Sid, who's also the no, I ain't no Lil RT. He's not doing them in like the right way. He's just basically promoting this kid's bad behavior. I mean, he literally did a video named Lil RT Swipes 20 Guys for His Mom. In the whole video, this man is literally just cursing and everything right in front of his mom, which is pretty crazy. Why would a curse him? Right, no respect at all. You know what I'm saying? And this is your mama. Like Lil RT, bro. Like, how you go a day with cussing out your mom, bro, in front of everybody? Like, bro, if that was my mama, bro, like, I would've got f killed, bro. I would've got my ass. If I was cussing, like, in front of my mom or at my mom, I would've got killed, bro. Like, I would've got my ass, like, clips. Like, I'm talking about clips. But she don't fuck around, dude. Like, what? Like, she don't mess around with that shit. But yeah, bro, y'all kids are different, bro. Y'all don't got no respect or uh, no discipline, no nothing. Like, like no stability, nothing. Like y'all, y'all think y'all run the world. Like y'all don't run nothing, bro. I don't get y'all. But yeah, I just find it odd. Now, these guys literally have videos, and the whole idea of the video is to sexualize a young person. I, I, I mean, that's just pretty crazy. Another style of content that's pretty big in the black community is face to face smash and passes. These videos are also let me go. They're terrible to watch. If you don't know what this is, for the third time, let me go back. This here, I hate seeing this. I hate with a passion on God, Jesus Christ. I hate seeing this. I hate seeing this. And everybody do it too. I can't lie, you know, because I see it all. Like, like every day I see it. You know what I'm saying? The same type of female group, like, like all that. But yeah, bro. Like, it's the same thing, bro. The same exact content, dog. And King said, bro. I don't like once again, bro. I don't fuck with you, dude. You sick, bro. You sick. <sighs> when is y'all gonna learn, dog? When is y'all gonna learn, bro? These videos are also 
also pretty unbearable to watch. If you don't know what this is, well, it's basically a bunch of grown adults getting lined up, and one by one, they basically go through these lines and say smash or pass to the person they're standing right in front of. It's pretty sad when you really think about it. Sad. I'm here to watch this for 30 minutes. I'm not gonna lie. I probably wouldn't even make it through. I would lose freaking all my brain cells by the fifth minute of this video. But yeah, that's another style of content with black YouTube that's pretty stupid in my opinion. I mean, imagine giving birth to a child just for them to participate in a face-to-face -face smash or pass. And like I said earlier, a lot of black Bro. content just revolves around this extremely boring content. Public interviews. I mean, you know the whole case on her dot dog. Yeah, bro, that that was an old uh thing, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because that was an old thing. I can't lie, lie. But yeah, like, far as, like, the sexual content, it gotta stop now. Like, bro, it gotta stop, bro. Because y'all... Because, like, do y'all realize where little kids are looking at y'all content, bro? And seeing the things y'all do in y'all videos, bro? As far as, like, you know, a sexual um a behavior in... And just a uh, touching and all that stuff like that. Like kids are watching this stuff, bro. They watching this stuff, man. Like, I really hope you understand this, bro. Like clearly, like this is not good, bro. Find your match, which is just basically they get a room full of people and they just try to find your matches and stuff. Overall, my problem with black YouTube is that number one, it's just unoriginal. Everybody's just right. copying off each other and expecting to become the biggest black YouTuber of all time with zero originality. The same thing, bro. Like it's not even real no more. You know what I'm saying? It's like nobody even real no more, man, with that content. Like, you know, y'all do it for the money, bro, because another man doing it. Like, I don't get y'all, man. Like, I, I don't get y'all at all. Like, it's no... You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's no being real no more. Like, I hate that, man. A lot. Like, a lot. Like... And number two... All these videos are just based around these sexual concepts for kids to click on them. And right. Click on them, they're just going right. To most of these little scams <laughs> and stuff like the $750 cash app scam just so they can get paid. Overall, black YouTube is just down atrocious right now. And it's honestly sad to see. But yeah, this is going to wrap up the video. If you guys made this far, I appreciate you. If you guys enjoyed this video, then I highly recommend you guys check out the most recent video. It'll be somewhere up here on the screen. My thing about this is this got to stop, bro. Because... Because every man made the same content, bro. You know, smash or pass, you know, public interviews, um, these, um, oh, gold digger pranks. Uh, back in the days, I'm talking about, like, back in the days, days. I'm talking about them days, bro. All right, uh, Pretty Brave Fredo made, um, a gold digger video with, like, uh, tons of people that he was with. Bro, that was lit. All this different shit y'all put in y'all videos, bro. Like, it's the same thing. Content back in the day used to be lit, bro. Like, lit. Like, I'm talking about... Like, like, like all kinds of content, like, you know, y'all influence these little kids, man, to do this stuff. I'm talking about like, like, like sex stuff, my nigga. And y'all coming on, on the internet, you know, putting them inside the video and asking them, oh, what is love, little bro? Like, what? Like, like, I don't get y'all, like, I don't get this, like, society no more. Go subscribe to the video, man. You know, turn on post notifications and go leave a comment. Most definitely, man, leave your comment below, man. I want to see what you guys got to say. Cause this is serious, like, like, like beyond serious. And go follow on my social medias, man. It be right on the screen, right here, or right down below. It's be very smooth, and I'm out, y'all. I love y'all so much, and be safe.